Hello everyone! Welcome back for more Let's Play Battletech. Joining me is JK Lantern. Y Yang, Yang is no longer allowed to pick missions, but it's okay. Oh. Let's see. We just need to check the times on all these because we did spend a lot of time getting over to that planet. So that's 134. 194. 174. But this is Bob Carita. And we love Bob Carita. It will take us 44 days to get there. Okay, so we'll have to do him and then the tournament, probably. It takes us or... 45 to get to the tournament. And 48 to get there. So we should be able to hit all three of them. Mm -hmm. Without a problem. So, uh... There are light. There is light mechs going to be used in this. Okay. Or well, medium mechs in our case, probably. Calculating course now, Commander. Which we have pretty decent medium mechs to throw at these. We also have a modified grasshopper in case of a 240-ton mission. Yep. But we are traversing about literally two-thirds of the way across the galaxy for most of these. Yeah. Squire missed his chance to go out on a mission. I think well, I saw a flashpoint pop up. Ooh. I've got the financial report. Let's see. What flashpoint showed up? If one did. The Baying of Hounds. Morgan Kell wants us for a job. I have things to say, but we'll get there when we actually pick that one. Yeah, it might be a little while before we actually pick yeah. that one, though. There is one detail about that mission that is hilarious, and it's one of those things that, like, it's an error, but in this case it was because the DLC was released in two different, in multiple different parts. It basically has to do with, um, mech choices. Hmm. Pirates ambush us. Which, we're not friendly with Liao, and we're not liked by the pirates. There, they can have 50,000 credits. But people are sad. Yeah, people get to be sad. Not like it matters much. It's 50,000 sea bills, so, you know. Yeah, that, that's a drop in the bucket for us at this point. Yep. I feel like we should automatically get a morale bonus for see Bob Carita. <laughs> God, God, I really hope this is the flashpoint where they talk about it. If only it literally didn't take a month and a half to get there. Yeah. I mean, granted, I don't think I'm going to be running out of money anytime soon, just because, you know, we, we're we not really buying much. 
we, we've reached that magical point where we don't have to buy much. Like, unless we find some really kick-ass upgraded weapons. Like, all of our mechs are already pretty fantastic. Um, granted, we could probably tweak the medium one some more, but figure that out later. And now let's see what Bob created. Well, let's check the store first, because... You never know what's going to pop up in the store. Janet Frank, Cyclone, Islander... Raven, which is weird, but now that we've been over that... Okay. Decent LRM. Well, okay, LRM, I should say. Yeah. Nothing... Yeah, nothing that's, uh... <laughs> overwhelmingly <laughs> great. By our standards, nothing mind-blowing. Yep. I'm sure at a different point that cataphract piece was been... Oh god, I think I want that. Okay, Bob, what you got for us? Why are you currying the favor of a Capellan dignitary? Especially because House Karita doesn't like other, other successor states at all. The name of the thing is Succession, so we might be talking an arranged marriage. But do they have music with kick and bass riffs? That's all I want to know. <laughs> uh. Please let the dignitary's name be Winona, please. Aww. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry, she isn't always as lucid as she could be. Are you two drinking, <laughs> buddies? <laughs> Just make her happy. When she is happy, I'll be happy, and you'll get paid. I guess they're drinking buddies. Yeah, they must be. But Bob, don't jinx it, buddy. <laughs> you know you'll jinx it. Looks a little older than middle-aged. Mm-hmm. Clearly drunk. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yep, yeah, band of miscreants. That that was mentioned. The red hair irregulars. Hmm. 
I don't know if they're anybody important, but you know. They're not. <laughs> Like, what does the Combine want with this planet? This is interest. This is intriguing to me. Do they need the farming space? Well, the thing is, like, House Karita doesn't really do a lot of interstellar trade because they hate every. They're not on a border with the Capellan. So who who wants this and why? I am deeply curious. What are the odds we actually get to find out? Limited. I I wish we did. We're not going to. I'm not mad that we're not going to. But again, it's it's odd that House Karita is giving us contracts in this part of space anyway. Um, ditto for House Steiner. Uh, and this person pilots an Orion. Oh, interesting. Orion is not uncommon. Um, it's it's considered one of the best known heavy mechs in the inner sphere solely because Alexander Kerensky pilot one. Okay, seventy five ton maximum with two hundred and forty as a top. Okay. Well, we have definitely prepared for this. So let's see what was. I think that was what I was going to take, wasn't it? Cataphract, the grasshopper. The bucket and the hunchback, I think. You think the bucket? It may... I mean, that is your mech out of this batch. <laughs> you know what? Just because that is my mech. <clears throat> you and I get to pilot the lighter mechs in this group. Like, I, I'd be tempted to swap out the, uh, the Crandall for the hammer, except... I don't remember how we tricked out the hammer. We haven't really. It's still kind of. Well, it's a pretty solid mech, as opposed to. Yeah, it's a to... solid mech, but. You have a UC ten and two pulse lasers on this. Yeah. And the uh, and the ECM, uh, ECM field. So you know. Mm -hmm. But, like, Crandall's firepower is a little in but... ECM. Yeah, but... It worked. It's... I don't... I don't think this really beats having an autocannon tit on hand. I mean, yeah, those are ERPPCs, but I'm not sure that beats having an AC-10. In the tabletop game, it definitely would. <laughs> Let's think. I mean, because we got this, which has as many as many uh, super powered lasers as I could stick on it. Yeah, that was fun to make. Might as well see how this works, huh? Yeah. We did save, so. Yeah. Then again, I don't know if I want to deal with the ECM at the moment. That is the thing. Do I actually want to deal with an ECM? Well, like, it works great for the enemies. We seem to have terrible with it. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, our experience using it is limited, so... Yeah, the one mission with the Raven. Yeah, Warhammer will work. I mean, I know what I'm getting with the Warhammer. You're getting a death machine with the Two Warhammer. Two ERPPCs and three medium lasers on it. 
No four medium lasers and two small pulse. And an SRM6. Completely different than the what we normally load out with these. I mean, usually we roll with... Usually we roll with, like, the Marauder and the 350s, but... I mean, we still have the UAC-20. The, UC the UAC-20 does cover a lot of sins. Yep. As long as it hits, mm -hmm. it just has to hit. Yep. And I don't think much has armor left after that. If it doesn't blow up immediately, its armor is gone in the spot. The only reason I don't like the Warhammer in this game is the PPCs just seem to be very, very weak. Considering what they are. Command interface initiated. Little confident, yeah. A hundred? That's cute. <laughs> we destroyed the entire Torian army. Don't Three ask me over. how we did that. Three times over. Okay, let's see. There are mercenaries and there are reinforcements. The mercenaries are there. The commander is hiding all the way over here. And the reinforcements are over there. Huh. You know, just looking at the map, I can engage one and wipe it out quickly. And I believe I have the firepower that should let me engage one and wipe it out quickly. Yeah. Preferably from being in this in this little forest area up here. Cuz I don't know what route they're taking. But I I think I'm going to have my best bet if I just go towards the reinforcements. Copy that. Coordinates received. And then start taking them down before... This looks like a prime spot for an ambush. Be yep. careful, Commander. You don't want to get caught in a crossfire. Because I really don't want to head up here and have the reinforcements manage to catch me by the side. Yeah. Roger. Granted, I am I am always a little concerned when I do not have my main force on the field. Roger this. Yeah, I feel a little naked without the McMurder and the Terrible. Yep. The, the Grasshopper, at least, is already coming to the Black Knight. It's a little less powerful, but it's not far off. Okay, I see him. Is that another goddamn cicada? Jinner. Okay, thank God. Bandit. 55 tons, Jinner, Jinner, and 20 tons. Okay, the hunchback is still not quite in position to actively punch a hole in anything yet. Mm -hmm. 
And they can't really see up here. They can only see the bucket because it's out there on that rock. Hi, my name is Goose Food. Whatever that is has an AC of some type on it. Okay, that means it's probably a Wolverine. Didn't fire any missiles. Let's see, you're not an ace pilot. I mean, that is just two Jenners and a 55 ton mech, but that is also just a trebuchet. Heading out. So I may wait for this to come up because these guys are gonna have to jump up here and it looks like their best spot's like right in here and they're gonna be jumping right into my arc of fire they get a 45 ton back there with them yes commander what can I do for you <laughs> the moment the, the warhammer gets in for any of these guys, they're gonna have a really bad time. I've got a sensor lock. That's a shadow hawk. Okay. Waiting for orders. The grasshopper can take a little bit of a beating. Definitely. So I'm not gonna be too afraid of sticking it out there in front of the shadow hawk. We, we did put a bunch of expensive things on there, but... Right now, it's only the two big, the two large lasers that are actually there. Let's see, I can't remember. If I can zoom in on it, I need to see what... I think the gun is in its... Is the gun in its... It's got a gun on each arm, okay. It also had ammo in that shoulder. Okay, very nice. See, that 20 ton mech has me a tiny bit worried about where it is. Just because it's a gonna be a small, obnoxious little ship lord. Because it's gonna be a spotter. Yeah. They've got a 55 and a t another 20 over there. Enemy now it's lunch mate. Yeah. Ironically, I think that the kitten sneeze may be the worst current one. Maybe the what? The, uh, like, the weakest mech in this lance. It's possible. I'm still perfectly fine with piloting it. Commander. Like I said, if you ever thought of something you wanted to pilot more... Well, like, the crab would be more optimal, but the kitten sneeze amuses me. I still can't see whatever that is back there. Here it comes. Reporting critical hit. The the Shadow Hawk doesn't have much left of anything at this point. I, I think that. that's why it's running. I don't blame it. 
I mean, I can't directly target anything, but... God, I love that grasshopper. A flea. I, I forgot that the flea was in this game. And it looks like it's the one with the large laser, which means it has no armor. <laughs> There's not much of that mech left either. I do like their paint team. Mm -hmm. and, but the pilot's dead. The pilot's incapacitated now. So that, that Jinra is effectively out of everything. That's a 55 ton backing that up. I can keep away from that for a little bit. Nope, I can't fire anything. Oh, Phoenix Hawk. That was what was back there. Oh, okay. Not much armor left in that location. I think it's gonna meet the fate of all the Phoenix Hawks that ever opposed the Black Knight too. Yeah. Good to go. Standing by. Location confirmed. Target eliminated. Well, I mean, when you get the machine gun ammo. Yeah. Waiting on you, Commander. <laughs> Like, one of the mechs not in this game, the Crusader, would be an amazing mech, except its machine gun ammo is in a very bad spot. Got it. Should've run when you had the- That- that didn't go so well for that mech. No? <laughs> Meanwhile, that Shadowhawk's like, maybe if I'm really lucky, they'll forget I'm here. Uh-oh. Discord chose an odd time to hiccup there, but that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that, that Shadowhawk literally has nothing left. It can try to headbutt me to death, that's it. Well, we can't be having with that. No, we can't. Scratch another target. Target neutralized. So that's the entire backup force they had. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injury. Oh good, I got hurt. It is a Wolverine. Unfortunately, I need to go into the water. Engaging jump jet. Waiting for orders. 
you need to go in the water too, but you can't reach it from there. <laughs> that toaster is so adorable, thinking it's actually a threat. Good to go. Yeah, well, you know. Jump it. Plus the Ultra AC5 in this game. Yep. It's better than it has any right to be, and I'm okay with that. As far as trying to actually shoot anything, I thought I thought I bled off more heat than that. Enemy mech destroyed. Should only be one more mech on the field against us right now. Waiting for orders. On the move. Okay, two more mechs, counting the main one. Yeah. Waiting on you, Commander. Clearly, we weren't near meant to grind nearly as much. That's not a mech. That's an embarrassment. Light damage, Commander. Well, considering the way this game was set up, we had to get through all the story to get here, which yeah. include taking on that one custom king crab. Yeah. Four orders. On the move. Score. Critical hit. Eventually, we will destroy all of the Vulcans in existence. Target. I'm not even going to waste the AC-20 on that. No. Ready for orders. Just doesn't seem all that necessary. I feel like the Vulcan died of embarrassment. Could have. Okay, so let's see. You are on this little island somewhere. So I guess we're going to be swimming our way there. I am not used to being the one of the fast mechs on the field right now. <laughs> Your usual mech's an annihilator. You're, you're not used to being the fastest anything. I'm used to being the one that very slowly approaches you and makes you regret life choices as yeah. I make my advance. 
<laughs> you give them just enough time to realize the colossal mistake they've made. Granted, our enemy isn't an Orion. Yeah. So there is a chance we could lose something if it gets a good lucky shot. Yeah. And there it is. Coordinates received. I'm still not quite close enough to AC 20 that. Just missiles, huh? Good to go. Don't need to tell me twice. Huh, the Orion's starting out with some structure exposed, but I'm not sure where. Weird? Oh, never mind, it went away. Okay. It was just funny, there was like a little orange blip in the, uh, in the counter. Actually. Here we go! Primary target damage, Commander. Yes, I did try to shoot it right in the freaking LRM yep. LRM shoulder. There are worse choices to make. And there it went. Hmm. Okay, so it has a medium laser and an AC currently, pretty much. Waiting for orders. I feel like sticking you out in front is a poor choice. Copy that. Yeah. Affirmative. I think I've got enough armor to sustain this. I think you probably do, especially since we took out most of its weapons. And its existence. Yeah, and the AC-20 covers the world of sins again. Mm -hmm. Ejection pod, huh? It technically doesn't have a pod, it has a chair. And already she has help. Say what? Oh boy. Bob, what have you gotten us into? Damn it, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> 